Is this a smart home automation? It allows you to control electrical devices anywhere you are in the world with your phone with the help of an app called Smart Life. When you have a Smart Life app on your phone or on your laptop or on your tablet, anywhere you are in the world, you can control electrical devices remotely using your phone. Take it for instance, I'm not at home, I'm, I live in Accra, I travel to Kumasi for an, a business trip. Just set up, my lamp goes up, and we just set up, my lamps come back online. We increase or decrease the brightness. I scroll up and I increase the brightness of the lamp and I scroll down to increase, to decrease the brightness of the lamp. So now I scroll down, you can see I've decreased the brightness of the lamp auto automatically to the type I want it. So when I scroll up again, it still comes back. I come to settings so I can set a time on this lamp down. With this time, I want to go to bed. So you, this lamp, you have to go off. So when I tap over here, I can bring it to just two seconds. And I, when I confirm, and when it's two seconds, this lamp is supposed to go off without me touching it. I can turn it back again over here, and I still put down the countdown again. With just one second, I want you to go off. So with just a second, this lamp goes off. When I come over here, so I can also change the lighting system to any color I want. You have colorful, dazzling, gorgeous, blue sky. So it depends on how you want it. So when I tap on it, the lighting system comes like that. So when it comes to life over here, we have reading. And we know each and everyone who reads, it is the brighter light to read. So when you tap on reading, the light automatically changes to white for you. Without you going back, tapping on and off of your electrical switch. So when I tap on working, it comes back. Leisure, it gives me a little, lit, a little brightness. Good night, it goes back to a little warm color. <laughs> And also, it's very hard for people with the to move around because they cannot charge glasses. What to solve this issue? You created the agent, it's a new agent which combines the power with the power of the power of the power the So, whenever the car passes by, it tells the turbines to be able to generate the electricity to power the guys and also charge batteries, which can be used to charge electric power. Also, it has a complete solar photovoltaic, which can be used to also power the lights directly. As you can see, so because we are using two power sources, uh, in case the solar is off, then you need to switch the, to the wind turbine. We shouldn't come there to do it manually, so we designed an electronic system which is able to switch from the solar to the uh, to the wind turbine automatically. And when, whenever it does this, it will send you an SMS alert so that it will notify you to know that it actually did the switch. Mm. So this is the electric tricycle. So in case you are a disabled person and you are using your tricycle on the road and guess the uh, battery load, how are you going to charge it? Because you, know, you have to push it to your house. So if the system is on the road, you can easily charge it because it will serve as a power level. Oh, students of applied technology in city. So far with mobile engineering, we have a ignition simulator. This ignition switch is used to turn on uh, what we have here. We have an ignition control module. The control module sends current through the coil kit to the uh, spark plugs. For the spark plugs to emit sparks in the combustion chamber, the combustion state place, according to its current order, which is 1, 4, and 2, 3. It helps in combustion chain uh, in the combustion process like compression. ECU with electronic control unit. It sends the signal to the ECU to display in the signal. So this is how so yes, the OBD diagnostic machine. So the diagnostic machine is connected to uh, it should be checked and it's important to be right to be fixed. And this diagram over here represents what we have here. This for the EC, this for the speed sensor, this for the fire. So, the high institute
This is our course. It's not gender bias. It's not gender bias course. It's looking to both males and females. So we urge all the ladies out there to enroll in our course. It's more engineering, like my sister. Yes, because basically the lives of our agricultural life. From our high technology we are the three of here to demonstrate about the water power. So in most times of our lives, we realize that if the water in our pollutant tank goes low, we have to go and switch on, switch on the pump for it to start doing itself. But then we decided to create a float switch and in a controlling way that when the water goes low, the water can come by itself without any human disappearance. So that you don't have to disturb yourself anytime your water goes low in the house. The water can just start pumping by itself. This is a float switch. This is a water pump. And this is our a motor. Our slides that serves as a motor for us to pump the water into the, into the bucket. So anytime, this is how the, the level is. So anytime the water level goes low, it turns right and just starts to pump the water inside. But uh, anytime we realize that the water level has gone high, it just stops pumping all of the sand. So that the water has gone over to you. So this one. This detect the person made in the water technical. So we look for problems and we look for a way of solving it. Assuming it is able to move from one distance to another, it will be a big challenge for them. So we build an electric tricycle and it is accessible by the disabled and the able people. This uh, accessing is very simple. This is the ignition, just pumping it. So pump it that will sit. So in case of safety, there is light and then Which is the The important one. Yes, please. Ah, my place. Is it warm? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Hence, one does not have to be bothered about the electricity bills going up, the gas prices going up, or the fuel. This is the water supply. This can serve as your poly tank or wherever your water is stored. We have here the solar heater panel. Inside, we have solar copper coils that are coated with black. Heated black because black retains heat and the coppers are conductors of heat as well. We have here the hot water storage tank. This is where all the hot water is stored after obtained from this whole process. Here are the backup systems, which consist of the temperature sensor unit and the multi-purpose temperature control unit. How this works is that the water flows from the storage tanks into the copper coils, runs through, and as it's going through, because it's on the sun, it heats up. So it keeps heating up till it goes through this blue tube here and goes into the water storage tank which contains all the hot water that is obtained through this process. As you can see, there is aluminum lined in inside the hot water storage tank. This will retain all the heat that is obtained from the hot water. We have the temperature control sensor and we have the multi-purpose con temperature control unit. This temperature control unit will regulates the temperature of the hot water in it so if probably it's nine you can still bath hot water by regulating the water to a certain degree that you want which a sensor which will detect what temperature the water is yes this is an intelligent solar supply this system uses sunlight to drive we have seen that in our communities where we go farm they often tend to preserve losses and all that due to improper ways of drying the food. So with this system, they can pre-dry the food before it goes back. To use it, it's very simple. Open this chamber, which is here, then put your food inside it. So there's an electronic compartment here that is responsible for watching and to keep track of the temperature inside and outside. So my brother will here will turn on the inverter for us to get used mainly where there is sunlight. So with this system, it will be able to power it. And if you are somewhere where there is no sunlight, you can use the grid system also. So you press the switch, then the system turns on. 
And when presence switch goes to, it eliminates the whole system. In cases in the lights and you can't see, this lights will enable you to see what's inside and what you are. Navigate through the system with these buttons. If you are drying maize or any food crop, you can go online and search what is the desired temperature that it needs. Then use these buttons here to set it to the high and low temperature. There are certain food that they require a range of temperature. It's a heater as an it the system which is able to heat it even in the night. There's no sunlight, how do I dry it? This heater will be able to produce heat for it to be dry. And these fans are responsible for cooling the system. So in case the temperature is high, these fans will activate and will draw out the hot air. And you can see that there's a shiny material inside. This material is actually a foil, an aluminum foil, that is to repel the heat. So it will not allow the heat to escape from the system. The heat will be kept in it and it will be separated around. The system is mainly used for rural areas with our conclusion that food is lost and it is gone wasted. So we have designed the system mainly for the rural areas where they are in intense farming. And mostly these food crops go with due to improper methods of drying. So with this system, you can be able to dry food as you wish. Okay, thank you. And as you can see, Ghanaian to use as knowledge, the young young shall grow upcoming. Yeah, they are busy into technology and things and this uh, school now Teshi mm, Teshi Technical School uh, especially when you uh, those people who know Adohem there's a place where they call Adohem La Scala uh, and, and this school is around La Scala I think La Scala that's where the school located Adohem La Scala around La Scala um, side now there's the school located and they are teaching because they are you see Although Ghanaians, they are trying. I don't really have anything to say uh, on this video. I just say make a just show you what actually going on. If you can see that Ghana, they are in another level. The young, the young shall grow. The youth of the upcoming youth, they are into practical like they are doing a lot. Ghanaian youth, <laughs> the way I see so in the next twenty years to come, eh, Ghana will be like China because almost all the youth are busy doing something. Uh, they are picking up now. Um, technical, the one who are working, like everybody is make work. They all make work and they are busy doing something. Um, yes, Ghana is going somewhere, okay? For now, thank you everybody and bye bye.